Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here with Shea Bear Paranormal. Remember, paranormal is anything but normal. So tonight I want to show you a couple clips from my solo camp out. A couple of them I heard at the time, but the rest of the stuff I did not know at the time. So I'm going to play these clips for you. They're probably nothing. I was out in the woods. Probably just maybe just small animals. But either way, it's interesting. I want to know what you guys think. So let's get into this and check it out. Okay, guys, now that the intro's done, let's get into this. Um, the first clip I'm going to show you, I did not hear at the time. Um, I was talking. I was in my little shelter tent thing. And um, while I was talking, I heard, I didn't hear at the time, but I heard it. Monkey and I heard it when we was watching the video back. After I edited the video and had it uploaded, uh, this is from part two, um, but we we heard like it, it sounded like two deep breaths, and it wasn't me because I was talking at the time, so we just kind of found it interesting. So anyway, I'll loop these each clip a couple times, so you know, and then you can roll back and listen to it, slow it down, whatever you got to do. Um, but the first clip I think is a couple deep breaths, so check it out, listen to it, see what you think. Some story. So, but she'll bring it tomorrow, I'm sure. Um, we'll have an inverter. Um, sure. Um, we'll have an inverter, so I'll make sure my battery. Pretty interesting. Now the second clip. It's probably nothing. This was not put in the video for time restraints because there was probably 20 or 30 minutes of video that I could have added on. But this was already a two-parter and I didn't want to make it too long for you guys. Uh, I didn't think it was important at the time, which is probably not now. But I hear this weird sound now. I am going to enhance the audio on this one. I'm not going to do anything except boost it so maybe you can hear it better. Put your headphones on and, you know, it's probably just a night bird, a nocturnal bird or something. But I've never heard it before. I've been out in the woods all my life. I've been down here for six years, been out in the woods. Um, never heard it, but that doesn't mean it's not. So it could be just a night bird or some kind of night animal I've never heard. Um, so anyway, take a listen. Again, I'll loop it for you a couple times, see what you think. Okay, so now the third one is some footsteps. Um, 
I did hear these because I'm talking, but I say, did you hear that? You can hear distinctively two footsteps right outside of my shelter, just what not 10 feet away, 12 feet, probably 10 feet away. Um, it's not, it's not an armadillo, it's not a coon. Um, we got those here in our backyards. I hear them every night, all the time. I just heard a couple right before I turned the camera on. These are footsteps, two, you like two bipedal. Check this out. I'll loop it again, see what you think. Area. Uh, that's, like I said, that's not real far from here. That's, like I said, that's not real far from here. That's, like I said, that's not real far from here. Did you hear that? Interesting, right? The fourth one. Now this is right after I heard the coyotes when I was showing you what light I was using, the big, because this has got a built-in IR light, but it's just one LED, one IR light. It does good inside a house, but outside it doesn't. So always, whenever I'm out somewhere, I bring the big, it's a spot, IR light. Very bright. But I was showing you what I was using, and you can hear something walking. I don't know if it's beside me or behind me, but you can actually hear footsteps that I did not hear at this time. Okay, so check this out again. It will be looped. Now, the these... The only one I'm enhancing is of that nocturnal thing I heard. That's the only one with the audio enhanced. The rest of them are not enhanced. So check this one out. I got this, this big light here. Okay, for the fifth and final one, right before that last clip, if you guys watch a video, you'll have to go back and watch it. Um, right before that last clip, I just showed you with the footsteps. Right before that, it's in the same clip, okay? But right before that, I came out of my shelter because um, I heard coyotes going nuts behind me, okay? Now, as soon as I come out, before I turn the IR light on, see, I came out this way, and then I turned around to my right, which would have been pointing towards the front of the tractor. Okay? You'll see this, and as I pan in that direction, I'm panning to my right, and you see this, it looks like a red light come into view as I'm panning. And then just, it's there for a few seconds, and then all at once... It just disappears now there's no there's no source of light back in there whatsoever that's all woods and, and uh, palm meadows and, and uh, oak hammocks there's no light source back in that direction whatsoever now uh, monkey thought it was my it was my um, my trail cam but my trail cam at that time would have been kind of behind me and to the left and it was only you know two feet off the ground now where i was pointing at you can see that i'll show you some more of the clip too of you can see when i turn the big ir light on this is before i turn the night vision on and you'll see which way i was pointing so it wasn't that, and besides, at that time, that camera's IR, like, the camera wasn't kicking on, it wasn't picking anything up. So, take a look at this, and then we'll talk more about it here in just a second.
right after I heard that tree knock, I heard the coyotes going nuts. See, there's... There's the front of the tractor. Now, that's very interesting. Like I said, I, sh I showed you where I shine the light in that direction, and you can see nothing but trees or, you know, palmettos. Uh, palmettos are just palms. They don't really grow into a palm tree. They kind of grow, you know, three to four feet off the ground. They're in patches. So as you can see, there was nothing back there. There's no sort source of light. Now, I'm estimating <clears throat> the way I was holding my camera up in that direction. It had to be, I don't know, 75 to 100 yards about where the coyotes were um making all that that racket now could it be eyes yeah if you're not zoomed in and you know i've i've filmed deer at night too from a good ways away and their eyes glow and um when you're when you're a good ways away without being zoomed in if you're over 50 yards away they'll they'll look like one one light they'll look like one eye if I would have zoomed in, but I did not see it at the time, but if I was would have zoomed in, it could have been two eyes. If it was, they would have been about eight feet tall. Um, now, I had an experience where I seen that before. I'll throw a quick clip in from that from last year. Okay, um, I think it was December 12th of last year. Maybe It might have been filmed December 11th. Of last year because I think I uploaded the video the 12th where I did see something now I didn't get it on film but I got on film where I was talking about it and I show you with my light across the river where I had seen two eyes so here's that clip okay guys I'm not crazy but just about a minute ago right through them trees there on the other side of the river I just seen two eyes walking, kind of like a human. So, what do you guys think? You know, did I just kind of psych myself out from telling them Bigfoot stories earlier? I don't know, but I know that that night, which was the night before last, Friday night I had nothing but battery issues with almost every piece of equipment I had and I got to thinking about something I know I filmed I had old blue on the hood of the tractor I know I filmed about an hour an hour hour and ten minutes I'll say at the minimum an hour of ten minutes driving out there with the camera non-stop so yeah that's going to use up a lot of battery power and probably the whole battery but now that I think about it, that battery kicked off. It shut off. It run down just as I pulled into the campsite where I was having problems with all the other batteries. Why? Why there? Why not, you know, a minute before, 30 seconds before, or a minute later, uh, 30 seconds later, you know, why as soon as I pulled in that battery depleted? And, and I didn't think about that until later, after we watched this video, I was like, you know, come to think of it, that battery ran down right when I pulled in, and I'll show you that clip right now. So that battery died as soon as I pulled into my camp site and it's the farthest one in to the side in the back uh, there's no other campsites back beyond that point why why there like I said why not you know on the road coming in then you wouldn't think nothing of it but it was the first battery to die at that campsite and then I had nothing but problems like I've been out four days uh, camping before and never had to change one battery in this and that night I was on my third battery on this camera 
and the batteries in the Christmas lights went dead. There she is. Ain't very bright. I think my batteries are, like I said, they're rechargeable, but I think they're bad. The batteries in this camera were going dead. Okay, guys, so my battery went dead just as I was coming up to the truck. Okay, so this battery is the big battery that someone sent to me, and it's reading um, <clears throat> three hours and 50 minutes. I've never went through two batteries filming even on our four-day things. Uh, the batteries in um, in my trail cam went dead. I got my uh, trail cam set up over there, and when I went out to stoke the fire and stuff, it was kicking on. I could see the IR lights kick on and stuff when I'd walk past it, but then right before I came in here, they wouldn't kicking on no more so i think well when i first turned it on it was in the yellow almost red uh the i couldn't get you know the 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 computer it was going dead i couldn't get it to work to watch a movie um it was just one thing after another and mostly just battery depleting uh this light that i got on right here oh yeah the little square light that i had on top of the camera which is my light but i gave it to monkey it went dead. Okay guys, you're not gonna believe this, but I'm using Monkey's Little Light. Uh, I think it's 40 LEDs or whatever. It's just a small one. And it just died. As soon as I just shut the camera off on that last click, it died. It shut off. This light here is my headband light. It's going dim right now, but it started going, it was actually dimmer than this when, when I was out there. Crossed here, my headband light. Um, they're going dim. My lights on here. The batteries are, there's two batteries. They're both going dead and I don't use this a lot. I only use it when I'm camping. So this hat, the light, I mean, it'll look bright on camera, but this is dim. This is dim as hell. That's dim as hell. See, that seems bright because it's right on the camera, but usually this thing, from where I'm sitting right now, I can shine past the boat, and I'm barely getting the license plate right now to to um, reflect. So, I mean, everything, you know, it was just all, just batteries going crazy. I don't, and I've never had this issue with any of this stuff before, battery-wise. And all the batteries that were going dead... Everything I had battery wise was rechargeable and charged the night before. And I thought the lights in the, uh, I thought the batteries in, in my Christmas lights that I had up there, I thought maybe they were just going bad, but I don't know now. You know, everything was just dying. Weird. You know, am I psyched out? Did I sum myself up for, you know, telling them stories? I don't know. But I know later on, after that that clip, you know, with the, you know, w with the, um, with the coyotes, that's when I got the, the night sound, that night bird or whatever you want to call it. That's when I got that sound and I, I threw some more wood on the fire and got it kicked up again. And, and, uh, I got it. I got it lit again. I sat up, sat up for a while after that, and I sat up kind of, kind of late, early morning, morningish, four thirty-five o'clock, and then I heard an owl hooting from not. It was to, well, actually straight ahead, from like if I'm sitting here, the fire would be about where you guys are. The coyotes would have been to my right. Now later on, like I said, I heard an owl start hooting like straight in front of me um, and then right as soon as it started hooting I started hearing the armadillos and the raccoons again because I heard them things earlier before that I heard a raccoon up in a tree and but as soon as it was like it got real quiet there was no animals as soon especially as soon as as soon as I heard that wood knock that's when that's when the, uh, as soon as I heard that, I grabbed my camera and no more did I grab it and start to pull, to open the, 
the screen up and it turns on automatically when you open the screen up as soon as I got my camera because I took it off the tripod that it's on now just a quick release you just flip this lever over and you pull it off and I grabbed the the uh, the screen to open the screen up and that's when I mean so it was only just a second or two from the wood knock that that the uh, coyote started started going nuts and like I said after that everything was really really quiet for a long time other than that one I'm just gonna call it a night bird because that's probably what it was but it's still interesting um, so yeah what do you guys think man um, and let me know in the comments uh, like I said I've been out in the woods you know since I was 10 years old you know so you know my grandmother had 63 acres so I was out there every weekend in the summer you know through the week you know I mean I would stay out there a lot I didn't and you know I started camping when I was 12 and a half 13 years old I've been in the woods I've been hunting this is the first time anything like this has happened like this out in the woods even down here I've had some strange things happen but you know I'm in Florida this is a magical place down here but man just all in one night was crazy and then you know the next day which is the next video coming up where we were supposed to I was supposed to camp out a night with monkey I just couldn't do it um, not because I was scared it was because I just wasn't feeling good I was drained um, and I felt sick it was just I don't know I just felt horrible and you know I mean, if and if you watch where I'm in the tent, if you saw my last video, you can see a red mark right here. Well, the heck was that? Um, you can see a red mark right here. But that's because I I dropped something. I think it was my lighter. I didn't get it on film, but I dropped something. I bent down to pick up my lighter, and I hit my head on the corner of the picnic table. I mean, I seen stars, and I had to sit down for a couple minutes. It really hurt. So that could have had something to do with it. But like I said, even though um, I know things happen, but man, it was everything all in one night. You know, everything I've ever experienced throughout all these years was kind of going on in one night. And some different things that I've never had happen before. Am I thinking too much into it? Or, what's, you know, is there something to this? Let me know, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. This has been Shea Bear 1000 for Shea Bear Paranormal. Remember, paranormal is anything but normal. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye and take care.